through the snow in a one horse open sleigh over the fields we go laughing all the way ha 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 bells on bobtails ring <laughs> making spirits bright all oh, it is to song and song in the sleighing song tonight oh jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Bang! <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton, back with another video and another hat. Hope you're having an amazing day. Hope you enjoyed my last video. I apologize, I didn't get all the paints in there. I was having some issues with my um, studio, YouTube studio. It wasn't letting me upload stuff. So anyways, I'm going to try to do that again today. So with that, today we are going to make some amazing Christmas lights. I went to Michael's and found a bunch of these molds. You have to, again, you have to look at things differently, my friends. They had these. I seen these way back when Christmas started. These are little houses they're shiny on the inside you could do this is endless guys you could make your own little village it's pretty cool so i went in and they had all their christmas stuff was half price so this was on sale for nine dollars so that was awesome and i found this little same idea they're candy molds um, you can also use fondant molds, which are pretty awesome. There's some beautiful flower fondant molds out there. I have a bunch of them already, so we're going to play with that as well sometime. This is a um, Christmas tree mold, and it's adorable. You could put little beads in there. I don't know if you can, I don't know if it's showing up right or not, but those are little indents where the, where the little baubles go on the tree. So that's awesome. But today... We're gonna play around with this mold. It is Christmas lights. I tried to find a song that had something about lights, but I couldn't find one. So you got the song you got today. So these are cool. So these were on sale. They are they were four dollars a piece. So I I bought two. So we could make a whole bunch. So in my in my little brain, guys, I hope this is gonna work out. I bought these. And I bought a second set because they were, again, like I said, on sale. Oh, this one looks like it might be a little different. It is the words, they're wooden words, and it says Mer bright and merry. So I have a black canvas. I'm going to repaint it. And I figured we'd do the bright and merry. I'll, I'm gonna make, we're going to make some resin little light bulbs. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use glitter or if we're going to use the holographic glitter and pour some black in it. So we're going to get into this. So we're going to glitterify these. We're going to paint the canvas and we're going to make some light bulb molds. So with that, I'm going to get this ridiculous hat off. I had to buy it when I seen it. It's really hilarious. But anyways, I'm going to go upstairs. We'll start off with the resin and then we'll get that out of the way because it's going to have to cure. So as resin, always of choice, I am using my crystal resin, the original, the the one-to-one, -one, not the shallow casting, but this is the one-to-one. -one. Um, so yeah, it's upstairs in my kitchen sink because it's always cold down here and I warm it up that way. Put both parts in my sink of hot water and it's easier to mix and all that fun stuff. Also, when I'm mixing, I am using, I go through this every time, you can fast forward, but I go through it every time when I use my resin, I use my respirator and all my PPE. I prefer that it would be nice that you could use yours. So check your health and regulations, your safety things on your resin, because every resin is different. And when I come back, I will not be wearing my mask and that's my choice, but please keep yourself safe. So I'm gonna go get my resin, get this hat off, and we're gonna get into making some light bulbs. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, we are back. I have decided to paint this first, set it aside, let it dry, and then I'm gonna come back and we will do the um, resin light bulb. So I'm just gonna do a quick base coat of black. This is my 
Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black. And I'm just going to get some paint on there. I'm going to keep it black because I want to make sure that you can see the amazing colors on there from all the glitter. Now you guys might want to do a different background. It is all up to you. I'm trying to find my bottle of water. I don't see it there, but I do have a bottle here that I was drinking. So let's just, I just want to wet my brush a little bit. It's good to wet the brush so that it'll um, absorb some of the paint. And look at that, didn't mean to wet the canvas, but there you go. Just a wet, just a little bit. This is my Royal and Lang Nickel R Jumbo R795 from Michaels. It's amazing. It again, oops, I've probably said it a lot. It's ex It was a little bit pricey, but you get what you pay for, my friends, when it comes to some things. All right. And if I have to do a second coat, I won't show you. It's just putting the same paint on and I will let you know when I when it's dry. When we go to the next step, if I had to put two coats on. Oh, forgot my canvas is a there's a lot of paint on here. I'll be getting some of this off. The canvas is a 12 by 24 inch. It is from Michaels. I have it taped on the back and I have my large push pins on there. Actually, I guess I can do the sides. I don't know if you're happy or sad. There's gonna be only roughly one more of my silly hats for this season. This is crazy how fast it's gone. Now I'm just gonna get the sides just so I can kind of brush off my brush a little bit to even out the paint on the top. Because I put a little more than what I should have. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna wipe off my brush here. And we're gonna, I just don't want it to be drenched. You know what, I'm just gonna move it and we'll wipe it off here. Well, it's got a good coat of paint on it. The only thing I find with some of these canvases, especially this one, it has a um, that bar in the middle. So sometimes if you want, you can put a piece of cardboard because I don't know if you can see, it's kind of sagging right there. So you could put a piece of cardboard in here, in here so that it does not sag. And I will see if I can find myself one. So I'm gonna move this aside or let it dry. And we're gonna get on to the next step. We're gonna get into our resin. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I am back. I have mixed up my resin. And today we are gonna use my heating pad because I am home. It's in the evening tonight. So I will be using my heating pad from Let's Resin and we're gonna cure this up a little quicker with the heating pad. Instead of a 12 hour curing time, it will take three hours. So it's on high, I've got my molds on it. You need to use the silicone mat that comes with it and you put it on top and it's awesome. I measured in my little cavities with some water. So one ounce took four of the light bulbs so I'm going to do four colors. I'm going to do the traditional Christmas lights, red, blue, green, and silver. It's supposed to be white, but silver. So I've mixed up again, four ounces. I've got my four cups. I'm just going to move this molds out of the way for a second and we'll get this all set up here. 
So I'm going to pour an ounce into each one of these. I hate mixing pigments in here. So we're going to try to divvy an ounce in each. And we'll see how it goes. Oh, I want to take these out. Line them up and see which one needs a little more. That one and this one. And you know what? If I have a little more of one color, it don't matter really. It's just I thought I would have four. I might not use all of them on my my little sign that I'm going to make. All right, so that I'm going to quickly wipe out. Where did my little wet thing go? There we go, perfect. And wipe out my little container. These ones are hard to clean, so I always wipe them out right after I finish with it, and that way it's good to go for the next time. All right, my hand cleaned off. I think I have a cat down here, so if you hear something going on, that's what's going on. All right, so I've decided to do silver. So we are using, I butcher it every time, sorry, Laura. These, most of these products are from Laura. I have two of the glitters that aren't. So we are using Pigmente Per Arteste. I'm saying it wrong, because I know I'm butchering it. This is the aluminum. So that'll be my pig. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's going crazy. So that's my pigment for the, the silver. I'm going to go uh, quite a bit in there. And we'll see how that mixes up. Everything is cold in my basement, so it's like, ugh. There we go. I just want to make sure I get all of it. Perfect. That looks good to me. And the glitter I'm using, because I don't have a fine one from Laura at the moment, so I am using this extra fine. This is Bling from Recollections. And we're just going to, oh my goodness, in here. And give that a stir. So we will have some blingy lights. Doesn't that look pretty? There we go. So the silver is done. Now we are into, let me put these over here so I know what I'm doing. Next, we're going to do blue. So this is from Larez. It is called Blue Sapphire. This is the pigment. <clears throat> and we will put some in here. Oh, that is such a pretty color. Oh my goodness. That's really pretty. Such a rich, rich blue. You want to make sure you get all of the stuff from the sides. You want to mix all of it in if you can. It's hard sometimes. And it's easier for cleanup if you do, because sometimes that pigment's hard to get off with. There we go. Oh, is that not gorgeous? Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so that is the sapphire, or sorry, blue sapphire from the res. And for the bling in this one, this is from Laura's Art Corner. It is blue Woohoo! Blueberry sparkle. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. Now I did get my spoon out. Put that up here so you can see a little better. We're going to do... Oh, what the heck. We're going to do one big scoop. And we'll see where that takes us. Oh, gorgeous. 
pretty, pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. And I'm just going to wipe that one off and put that here. So for the, the green, we're going to use Lorez. This is the um, Lucky Green. And I am going to get something big and scrape off because it's, it's with the different climates all of these pastes will have different effects if you are in somewhere where it's warm all the time see mine goes hard somewhere where you're warm all the time it's gonna stay nice and fluid because I'm here in Canada in a colder climate it kind of solidifies a bit. So all you would need to do is take it up, put it in your warm bath in a nice warm cup of water, or you can take your heating torch and heat it up a little bit just to um, make it a little more pliable. And here we go. You think I could have found a bigger stir stick, eh? Look at that, that is so pretty. That is such a nice color too. off there and I want to use this little guy there we go and the green we're going to use it is the emerald sea again from Laura's art corner and don't forget you can get the Lorez from um, if you're in the States you can get it from Laura and if you're in Canada you can get it from Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada there we go one big scoop of green Perfect. That and that. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. It just glitters. I hope I got you in there. <laughs> and next we are going to use, this one is Candy Apple Blossom. I wasn't sure if it was really, really red, so I'm going to get my spoon oh I got another one here so we're gonna scoop this out I'm gonna do a big scoop because I, I really don't want it to be very transparent I want it to be opaque Okay, and then for the red glitter, I wanted to stay with fine glitters, and I don't have a fine red one. I've got chunky ones from Laura, but I don't have a fine red one. So this one is from Martha Stewart, and it is Garnet. They don't make this anymore. This was the stuff I used to use when I was making my jewelry. And here we go. We're just going to dump it in there. Perfect. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm going to move these here. We're going to move. These are cold. So what I opted to do is where you would have your little metal pieces on your light bulbs, I'm going to come back with my pen and we're going to paint them. So we'll see how that works out. I figured that would be the easiest. So we're going to start with the silver. And whatever I get out of these, it does not have to be 100% of the, like I was hoping for four, but it might not be four. Hmm. Let's 
let's see. I'm going to try and find my little stick and we'll scrape out every little bit of this. If I can, come on! Oh, we're getting there, guys. Woohoo! Oh, shoot! That is not what I wanted to do. Let's see if we can move it in there. Let me get my little silicone tool and see if we can move that in in this area. Get it out of that. I'm just going to use this wipe. Ah! And wipe out what I can out of the inside because I do not want silver in this one. Get out, get out. All right. And before I go any further, I think I might stick one of these underneath here because I think table needs to be a little more leveled. There. Perfect. Let me just get a piece of towel and wipe out anything else that's in there. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go blue. Looks like we're only going to get three out of the blue. I can scrape a little more in here. Perfect. Now we're going to do the red. Oh, that is gorgeous as well. Looks like we're only going to get three out of these. There we go. And the
Well, I totally misjudged that. Let me get my little stick here and we'll scrape into this guy. But I think this will be enough for what we need to do. Don't want to get any in that red. I want to get it into that end. There we go. I think we should be good. So I'm going to leave it at that. So we'll have enough to put on that painting. I think that should be good. We'll just mix them through. And for the um, for the wires, I have this green pipe cleaner that I have. Or I have this mesh tube. So I wasn't sure which one I was going to use. I, I'm, I'm more so going for this because I can make it go curly cue. So with that, we're going to leave it on my heating mat. I'm going to give it a little shot of my 99% alcohol because I don't want to, I do not want to put any heat on these molds because they are um, very thin. So other and my 99% alcohol. shot there we go and I'm gonna get my little tent oh we got the flower one again thank you Sandra and there we go so we're gonna leave that set it takes three hours for this and then you let it you turn it off and you let it sit for another 20 30 minutes I guess it is and it should be cured enough to pop out. So with that, I'll see you guys when it's cured. Okay, we are back, they're cured. They sat for a half an hour after I turned off my mold, my heating mat. So now we're gonna pop them out. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. So we have a green bulb, another green. Oh, the red turned out amazing. Oh. So we have three red. Oh. oh, that blue is just stunning. Another blue. And the silver. Awesome. Oh my goodness, that marker is so stinky. I got my marker out. I had it primed. So I'm hoping this works. It should work, but I don't know. I've been having issues with the pens. So this is the Deco Art Deco Color Premium. And this is the gold. Let me do a silver just in case I goof it up. So I primed it. Let me get my paper here. So I primed it and let's see if it works. It is working. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. We have a Christmas bulb. I'm just gonna, I have to, mm, let me see if I can do this without goofing it up. So 
Sorry guys, my eyes are so bad and my bifocals. That is adorable. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on. What I'm gonna do is I'll put you on pause and then I will fast forward me doing all of these other lovely ones. So I'll see you in a second, guys. Oh my goodness, this is so freaking adorable. They turned out so cute. Now I sat them down. There was the odd one that had a little bit of paint on the back. <laughs> and I got a little gold on my canvas in a couple spots. But that's fine. I was debating whether to use the pipe cleaner or I have this um, 18 gauge wire that I have. I'm thinking the pipe cleaner. I was going to, okay, in my brain, I'm going to do a, I'm going to tack these down with some glue, with my glue gun. And then I'm going to come over and do a clear coat of resin with a little bit of glitter in it. That's my brain thought. We'll see how it works. And these I'm going to glitter, but I don't know what color to glitter them. I'm thinking something, maybe gold. I think maybe gold. I was going to do silver, but I'm a silver girl, but I think I might do it with gold and it will bring in the gold in the ends. Like this is so freaking cute. I just can't believe how much it looks like a light bulb. Like adorable. Okay, so we're going to get on that. I'm going to grab my glitter. I'm going to get my Mod Podge. We're going to glitterify these guys. And then we're going to come back and I will tack everything down with a little bit of glue. And yeah, I'm just debating. I don't know with this with resin. That's my only thoughts. I think it'll be pretty. It'd be cute. We'll see. It might be different when it comes back, guys. You know how Sherry rolls. So, okay, so I'm going to get this prepped and ready to go, and I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, we are back. I have my Mod Podge. This one doesn't matter what kind. You can even use Elmer's glue. You can use anything as long as it dries clear. And this is just the matte Mod Podge. And we're going to work a little quicker. I got a sponge. Someone suggested a foam roller to do this as opposed to last time and let's just get this in here and do this quickly is easier I was just trying to work with what I had right on my table so this is amazing okay so then I'm gonna take that off of there because I'm gonna switch it to another I've got these papers that I were so I'm gonna move this over we're now gonna slightly fix this and we have Laura's glitter from Laura's art corner this is luscious gold and here we go. We're just going to sprinkle away. Actually, let me put it on a couple of little cups just so I'm not touching it. Ah! And taking off. There we go. Can you see that better? There we go. And then we're going to just glitter. And I put the paper underneath so I can scoop it back up and reuse it. Because if you watch my channel, no glitter goes to waste, my friends.
awesome. All right. A little more on this guy down here. Now to figure out, oh, there we go. We'll set it over here. Let me get my fingers in here. Let's see if I can shake off the extra. And there we go. Bright as a button. I'm going to set it over here so it can dry. And then we're going to take this. And we're going to switch through. And do the next one. So here we go. We have Mary and Bright. We did Bright. Now we're doing Mary. Let's get some more on here. This roller. Perfecto. Let's get this. And I'm thinking I got another paper, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to keep on using the papers I have here. And then I'll dump the other glitter on that. Let me get this picked up. It's almost like um, one of those stations when you're uh, breading your meat. <laughs> Dry, wet, flour. Okay, let's get this. We're going to see if we can shake this on. I was going to put it back in the container, but and then I'll shake more. And then we just have that little little sign left in the middle, the and symbol. Could have done a different glitter with each one, but I thought we'd kind of keep it a little more simple. I think we're good. All right. Pick this up. Give it a little shimmy shake. There we go. We are merry. Oh. See if we can. Let me do a little bit of a touch up down here on the end of the M. Let me get my get my hands out of here. What is going on? I'm just gonna put a little more Mod Podge. You see where the M was missing a little? And let's see if that'll work. Hmm. I'll just shake it. Perfect. And we're going to set Mary over here. Oh. There we go. And our little symbol. that back and I'm just gonna set that there and load this back up hopefully there's enough to do this little guy make sure it's the right way and we'll do it here so I'm not Here. All right. Let's get the 
this guy up on a cup. I don't want to put it on here because I'll lose the glitter off that. Now that can go in the garbage. And this back, put this here. Stop it. Let go of me. Okay. Well, let's see if we can put a little bit of a So I'm going to set that over here and let it dry ah, after it fell over everything. Please don't. Ah. All right. I got to touch up just a tad here. Maybe it'll. Yep, it worked. All right. We're just going to set it right in front of me, right over here. I was trying to put it way back there. So I'm going to let those dry. And then we're going to come back and I will, oh, this glitter, I don't want to waste it. It's so precious. Look at that. My house is totally full of glitter. So anyways, yes. So I'm going to um, let those two dry, three dry. And then I'm going to come back and figure out if I'm going to use the pipe cleaners or not for the, um, the wire and then we're going to glue everything down just a tack so when I put the resin on it doesn't float around but that might be no nope, you know what I think I'm just going to do a coat of resin on it first and then we'll just set them in there because it's not going to be a big coat of resin it's just going to be very very thin so I'll be right back guys hello we are back so I have pulled out all the stops so this is what I was looking for to do the the um, wire for the light bulbs it would attach awesome it would look exactly like a light bulb string but it's so wiggly and I wouldn't have the time to make sure it stays in the resin because I'm going to put a coat of resin on this to adhere everything but it is um, a flexible tie now if you have the time it is awesome I got this at the dollar store yesterday so but i'm i'm gonna make an executive decision guys i'm gonna use the pipe cleaner i wasn't sure how the pipe cleaner would react in the resin so you know what we're gonna find out together so what i've done i've bought this bag of pipe cleaners from the dollar store it's called tinsel stems and i've got one two three four already done and what I did is I took two of them. Let's get, whoops, they're sticking to me. I took two, I held the one, and I twisted it. Just a light twist, nothing extravagant, just enough so that they stay together. My sleeve, there we go. Well, that's about it. And then I took a second two Let's get these because we're not going to use those. Did the same thing. And this is easier. I can maneuver these a little better. I can make the little twists in like the, um, the wire. That and then when I get to the end, I'm going to leave these two like that as these two are the same. I put them like this and then twist those together and these I twist real hard just so it makes it it doesn't look as I twisted the two there there see you don't even know it was joined so I have one two three four five of them and I'm gonna do this idea with a little curly cue in there so I'm gonna set these aside for this moment um, 
Oh, I'm just so impressed. I took these into work yesterday and oh my goodness, we've come up with, you glue a pin on the back, these could be brooches. You can drill a little hole. These could be keychains, necklaces, or earrings. Oh my goodness. And I can't wait to play around with the, um, the Christmas tree because that would be an awesome pin. So I'm going to put these up here. These I'm not going to do anything with. I'm just going to set them in the resin as I pour. These, let me just, I'm going to brush this off and let me see what happens. Because I sprayed them with my hairspray after. Let me get a brush. I'm going to brush off my canvas here. And I know I've got little spots here and there. We're going to cover everything up. I'm not too worried. All right, let me see. Did it work? Because when I did the other thing, it worked. Oh, no. <laughs> There's still some glitter. So that's fine. That's why when um, we are going to... I'm going to glue this down because, see... I don't know if you can see, it's sticking up. So I've got my glue gun plugged in. I'm gonna glue my words down. And we're gonna put a little bit of Laura's Luscious Gold in my, my resin. And then that way we're not um, having it just look weird because there's a little bit in there. I'm gonna put just a faint amount. Now, I wanna make sure that I have this in the center. So we've got merry and bright. I just wanna make sure, get my measuring tape out here. So we have seven, six and a half. We have, so this needs to come this way a little bit. Not, I'm not too worried about this a little bit six and a half there and about six and a half there perfect so now I'm going to tack these down and then after that we're going to play around with these and I might I might glue like glue a little bit underneath we'll see so Actually, let me put, let me just, just so I can remember where to put it, if I can. All my markers are black. Eh, that's too funny. I don't have a silver one. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to go for it, my friends. I'm not going crazy. I'm just wanting to tack it down in various spots. And hopefully it will hold. And do it the right way. I've got a cardboard that I'm going to put underneath. I should have put it in first. Let me do that first. So. I can't even see what I'm doing, but we're going to attempt to put some glue on the back of this. Probably should have used a wooden board. I have a wooden cradle board that's this size. I don't know why I didn't use it. 
there. You just want to give it a little. I'm not too worried. I just want to make sure. And then we'll get all those little glue stickies off. Like the resin's going to adhere to it. So I'm not too worried. So what I did is I just cut a piece of cardboard a little bit smaller than what my canvas is. And because there's this bar, I have learnt that it will show up and it'll your resin will sink. So this, let me just get it down just a bit. I don't want it to, I want it to be even in there. Perfect. And there, so it gives that little bit of more support. Like you've seen how my canvas was sagging. There, so that's there. Let's get the bright. And this was the one, because it was quite, oh my goodness, stop. There we go. I'm just going to try to glue it in a couple spots just so because this one was kind of warped a bit. I don't know quite where it was warped, so I'm going to do this and we do it quick. Quick click bunny, quick click bunny. Do it the right way, not upside down. Okay, Mary and Bright. Hold it for a couple seconds. Here's the timing music. Do 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 Awesome. All right. We are bright and merry. Now let's get our little put this on. And the same thing. I'm impressed I missed my finger. You never know with me. Oh, I took the stand off. I wonder why it won't stand up. Hurry up, Cherry. This is gonna go hard. All right. Perfect. Awesome. Now I'm gonna try and brush the glitter off and get any of the little bluey things. This needs to come down because I'm seeing it's, oh, there we go. I'm seeing a big ridge. I just want it to be there. Now I gotta do this all over again. Sorry guys. Disorganized Sherry. There we go, perfect. So now we get to play around with our pipe cleaners and make our little. So let's start glue here. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the end and glue it down. Yoka cha. We will do a little bit of a twisty like that. I will glue where the twist is. Oh my 
goodness. Do another little quirly thing inside here. Oh my goodness, the glue does not want to stick. I'll try it one more time and I'm going to hold it. Oh my goodness, Sherry. dries. <laughs> this one pops off. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'll finish this one. I'll make sure it's secure and then I'm going to fast forward you guys and I will put all of this down and that's all I'm going to keep doing is just kind of curly cueing and gluing and holding it till it's there. Come on, I don't want to. There we go. Perfect. Good. Good, good, and then I'm going to maybe attach this one here. And then bring it this way. And then back down, I think. Or maybe I'll start here and then we'll see. So I'm going to attach this here. Right about there. Actually, it'll slip in underneath that B, so that's good. And then I think this is going to look cute. So we'll put like a light bulb here. And then we'll do a silver one in here. That'll be cute. Okay, so I'm going to put you on pause and I will fast forward you doing the rest of these. Okay, I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, that is done. That worked well putting this on and you don't see the glue as where here it was sticking and everything. I think this looks adorable. Here, let me put it so you can see it. Not sure if I like this. 
Um, am I able to pull it off without wrecking the paint? I'm not sure. I think we're going to have to live with it. Let me see if I can peel it. No, it, the paint's going to come with it. So, it stays, my friends. I just don't like that big hunk of... I'm just seeing the glue. That's all I can see. Maybe I can snip that part. Yeah, that's it. I was going to put um, a light bulb there, but I think I'll just leave it. That looks adorable. I think that's cute. All right, so with that, I am going to um, take all of all of my little bulbs that I put on. I'm going to give my canvas a brush. We'll do that now. We're going to get it all ready. And I am going to mix up. I used a... Um, a resin calculator and it's telling me I never go with what they say to be honest guys when you're covering a canvas you don't need to coat it like you don't need to waste your resin so I always go a little more than half of what they say so they're telling me I need 10 ounces for this canvas I'm going to probably do I'm going to say seven or eight, probably eight. And I have something I can fill it with. Like I got little, little things that I can put it in if I have extra. There, perfect. Awesome. So I'm going to get my um, resin mixed up. And as always, I am using the one-to-one, -one, the original um, crystal resin. As I mix my resin, I use my respirator. Um, when I come back, I will not be using my respirator, but I want you guys to read all your PPE for your um, resins. They're all different. And with that, I'll be mixed up mentally and resin-wise, and I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Second for you. Okay, so I've mixed my resin up. I'm ready to go, but I don't know why I didn't think of this. I'm going to color wherever I have the glue and there's a spot missing here I don't know why I didn't think of that okay that's the glue that's showing Now it might stick out as a thumb, we'll find out. But I think it'll look better than what it is right now. <laughs> a little bit here. Good. All right. So I've mixed my resin up. You know what? Actually, I'm going to leave it because I'm gonna, probably going to put a light bulb there. I mixed my resin up. I have 10 ounces. I lied a little bit. I am going to pour some of my glitter. I don't want a lot. I don't want it to overtake, but my thoughts were this might spread. So I'm just looking. I did a just a quick little shake and there's not really much in there guys like can you see that just a little tad I know a tad of glitter for Sherry so I'm just gonna pour it on and I'm gonna manipulate it with my hands and um, here let me get a wet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and torch, but be mindful. This will burn. 
my pipe cleaner so I have to be mindful of that so let's get everything out of the way because it's gonna drip and I want to make sure there's nothing underneath that's gonna get a mess because once I start I'm gonna be not moving this canvas there we're good to go there's nothing in there okay oh here we go guys oh, I'm nervous I'm gonna go right over the words looks like I'm going to use it all. I'm going to smooth it out. Oh my goodness, the pup cleaner is going to look awesome in there. I don't want it to go off yet. So I'm going to keep that in there. With the hay, I'm just using my gloved hand. I'm going to spread it all around anyways. Here we go, guys. Gentle all around the pipe cleaners. And I think that tad bit of glitter in there is perfect. What I want to do is get the edges. I know there's a lot. I know there's enough in the center, but I want to make sure I get the edges covered. I always like to top coat with my hands. You can feel the bald spots on your resin, where they're your canvas, sorry. You can feel where there is no resin touching, which is awesome to know because you want it to be covered, right? You don't want to find out at the end of the day when you've let it cure that there's a bald spot. And it might still happen even after you manipulate like I'm doing but your chances are better if you just trying to smooth it out. Now, if you were just doing a normal canvas, just covering, I would not have done the whole 10. You could have gotten away with, I'm going to say six, maybe eight. I just feel it's a waste when you... If you want to do a big coat, I would do two as opposed to doing just one big. Does that make sense? Am I making sense, guys? I don't know. No, I'm just preaching, preaching, preaching. All right, and then I'm going to heat it up. And when I heat it up, it'll start moving a little better as well. There, my basic canvas is covered. Awesome, I'm just going around the edges. I just wanna wipe that off. No, what is with this? What do I do with that? Because me holding it isn't going to work because it's going to keep popping up. Oh my goodness. If you watch my channel, you know exactly. Everything and anything that happens can happen. And I don't know what to do with that. And I'm not even going to be home, so I can't keep coming down. Grr.
Can I bend? Yeah, that isn't even going to work. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, I'm not happy now. All right, I'm going to do a quick torch. I'm going to come close to my piping, but not right on it. And this, it doesn't matter how much you heat it, guys. You're not on a mold. You just don't want to come too close to the pipe cleaners. You know what? If that sticks up, I'm not hating it. It's a three-dimensional piece. All right, I'm trying to justify my mistakes here. <laughs> I'm going to remove my gloves so I can put on my um, light bulbs without any resin on them. And of course, my hands are all sweaty. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, I'm gonna put powder in this glove. That was, that was a feat in itself. Sorry guys. There we go. So much easier. And it smells beautiful. All right, here we go. Okay, let me grab, I need to get a stick so I can start pulling off all my little dusties that I'm seeing. I'm going to pull them as I see them. All right. I'm excited now. Okay, merry and bright. So when you want to put it in, you want to make sure you get a good... A good seal around it. Let's do a silver one up here. A red one in here. Hmm. Oh my goodness, everything's in my way. All right, let's get this blue one there. Green one here. And let's put, I like the blue one. Let's put another blue, blue one in. I don't know, do I need another one on the inside? One, one. I think that's it. I don't want to overkill it either, right? As I've said before, sometimes less is more. Because if I did one, I'd have to put one. Yeah, I think that's it. Step away from the canvas, Sherry. All right, now I'm going to come around. And I'm seeing some dusties. Like I said, I'm in my basement. And I've always got little dusties. Mm. 
It's sad that this is my last Christmas video. No more hats, guys. All right. I think we're good. Oops, one more here. I think those are bubbles. So now I'm going to come back and do one more quick little torch and get rid of bubbles, which there are not very many. Oh my goodness, I am so impressed. I'm impressed when a plan comes together. All right, guys, I unfortunately have to go to work, but I'm so glad because I enjoy my job. And I'll see you guys when I get home. And yeah, I made it happy. Okay, let me grab my big tent and I'll cover this up. And hopefully nothing goes awry as I'm going to work. And like I said, I'm not hating this. It's three dimensional. So ideally I would have rather had it down, but it is what it is, my friends. I'll see you in a few hours. Oh my goodness, this turned out so beautiful. I am so impressed with this. I'm glad I put just that little bit of um, gold in the uh, glitter in that. Um, I'm not hating. Another piece popped up. But you know what? It's three dimensional and your wires on your tree aren't perfect. So I think it turned out actually quite nice. I like it a lot. Um, yeah. So we finished off our Christmas um, hats today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I've been doing it for three years now, so I just thought I'd keep up the tradition. Um, so with that, everything here will be linked in the description box. And I hope you um, enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a share, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. Uh, more than half of you don't are not subscribed and that would be the most amazing Christmas present if you could do that and yeah with that I'll see you guys in the next one hope you have an amazing holiday love you guys bye there you go guys I stuck it on my little pegboard I just think it's adorable adorable So I hope I've given you a few ideas this Christmas season. I know I've been scattered around. I've been just so busy, but I hope you enjoyed everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you all. Bye.